Okay, verses 16 through 18. It says, When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen. And your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. So he's talked about benevolence or giving to the needy. He's talked about prayer, and now he's talking about fasting. In the Old Testament, God only commanded one day of fasting, the Day of Atonement. Now, we have other examples of godly people choosing to fast. Let me give you some of their names. Moses, Samson, Samuel, Hannah, David, Elijah, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Daniel, and others. So fasting for the Christian can be beneficial for spiritual purposes, but it is not commanded of us. It is not commanded of us. However, because it was considered a good thing and a godly thing, over time, it had become another thing that was twisted and abused. So by Jesus' day, many of the Pharisees were fasting twice a week, usually the second and fifth days of the week. And they wanted people to know they were fasting so that people would consider them righteous. Oh, what a godly person. They fast twice a week. They're so godly. So what they would do is they would cover themselves with dirt and ashes and they would wear makeup to look pale and sickly and often they would suck in their cheeks to look more emaciated. Yep. Suck in your cheeks. And when people saw them and noticed they were fasting, that was their reward. But Jesus says that if you fast, don't let anyone know Put oil on your head and wash your face so that you look healthy and vibrant. So the, uh, the hypocrites would walk around looking all somber and sad because I'm so hungry. I'm sacrificing so much for God. And uh, Jesus says, nope, look happy, look joyful, look like you're doing great. You just had a big steak. <laughs> 